Welcome back, guys, to episode 45 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Um, we're back in the main game. Uh, it, we spent quite a bit of time um, in Where Love Lives. I ended up, like I said, I'm not sure how interested people would have been in me spending like five or six episodes on that game. So I just did it all in two episodes. Um, and it was a good game. You know, I, I, I mean, it ran really slowly, but like narratively speaking, I enjoyed it and the revelations that we got out of that, you know, learning who these people in white are and the the events that they're behind. They definitely make me even more hyped for the game as we go. And we learn more about the events regarding this story going forward. Um, so I should say uh, up until this point, I've played Pokemon Rejuvenation uh, a few times before, but I only played the content starting in this version onward once. And that was like three years ago when it originally came out. Um, so I don't remember it very well. I don't know. I, I know like uh, this chapter revolving Ren and then there's the chapter afterwards um, at the pyramid. I vaguely remember the plot points and what's going what's going to happen. So this is about where things start being super duper blind on top of any revisions they may have made to certain plot points to make them better in the narrative. Um on top of the fact that I've not even seen or done anything in the new version 13 content that we should be two chapters away from. Uh, but regardless, we're almost finished. Um, we might, I'm thinking we might make it to episode 60 in this playthrough. So maybe a little lower, maybe a little higher. Depends because we still have side quests to do in between all of this, right? So anyways, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado... Let's begin. Welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation version 13. Okay. So. Now that we have information on Kida's life and we know where things went wrong for him. It's time for us to prepare so that something like this doesn't ever happen again. This is it. They kick people out for being too loud, so yeah, don't be loud. Right, don't be loud. Just gotta keep it together. Yeah, keep it together and things will work out just fine. Come on, Robin. We shouldn't keep Aaron waiting. <laughs> she's, uh, she's falling apart at the seams. Visiting this place never gets old. I'm glad that feeling hasn't gone away. Well, we have work to do. I have a place where we'll be able to start without being interrupted. You go on ahead. We'll be right there. Suit yourself. Um, excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? I was just wondering if there was by chance a gym here. Yes, that's correct. But if you want to challenge the gym leader, you'll have to wait. Lavender's currently at the Hospital of Hope. Lavender is the gym leader of the Blakery and Athena? I see. Well, thank you. No problem. I'll be here if you need me. Hmm. Oh, don't mind me. I've just been sorting out some books. Uh, you know what we got to do now. Start talking to everybody. I wonder how many books they have around cooking. I'd like to master the technique of cooking. pot a food? Is that how you say that? I don't... <laughs> There's a long feud between Cassandra and Rodia about the usability of this library. Cassandra wanted this place to be used as a monthly membership subscription. Rodia thought everyone should have the opportunity to learn. Cassandra was furious when she was actually uh, when she actually lost and this place became free So she withdrew her affiliation with the library which hurt business, but eventually this place was able to make up the difference Cassandra sounds like a bitch. Oh, well, I know Cassandra's a bitch <laughs> I've seen her before. I wonder what they have behind these scary uh, these scary looking gates I heard they keep top-secret info locked up in there. Well, you know, we're gonna get up in there at some point Terra Juma doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a nice library like this. It's quite sad. Garen does though. Could you please not bother me? I'm busy. Thank. I was this asshole. Man, why do we got to do all these ridiculous projects for school? I just want to become a Pokemon trainer. Papers, projects, deadlines. I'm gonna die. Move. The internet is too slow here. I hate this. I think I'm done being an entertainer. Time to become an engineer. Fair enough. Alright. 
lollygagging aside, let's get the plot moving. If only things didn't go the way they did. Oh, hello, Robin. Sorry, I was contemplating things. Just thinking about the past. I guess that's something that happens to someone sooner or later. Fair enough. Okay, let's get started. We have a lot to discuss. You read about the book, uh, you read that book last night, right? Miera Region Origins? I did, and I learned some pretty interesting stuff. So interesting that I would have thought the book was a work of fiction of it. What'd you learn? Well, for starters, the Miera region was a place that existed long before Avium. The region itself is located nine hours west of Avium. Nine hours west of Avium, okay. But the thing is, Miera region has been completely abandoned. Completely abandoned? The citizens of the region had to flee because of a nuclear meltdown at the Miera nuclear plant. This is where it gets interesting and where Katsu's words start to make sense. The first citizens of the Avian region and the people who fled Miera are one and the same. When the Miera nuclear plant went under, the entire region fled east and ended up on uncharted, uh, uncharted shores. And that's how Avium was discovered. Really? That's correct. That's not all, uh, that's not all I learned. There were three things that stuck out to me while reading. The incident at the plant was caused by 10 individuals, all died at the site. Eight of them were unidentifiable, but for some reason, the ninth and tenth ones were. And who were they? The ninth person was a woman named Freya. She was a part of the international police and was discovered to be the reason the plant went under. Other than those two bits of information, I couldn't find any uh, anything else on her. As for the tenth individual, I'll get that in a, uh, I'll get to that in a sec. Let me continue for now. Gotcha. The second one, uh, the second thing is a little more relevant to us. It turns out the Miera region wasn't free of mass crimes either. There was another evil team running around causing havoc, but that's not what sticks out to me. The team that terrorized Miera was also called Team Zen. Team Zen? Yeah, they existed more than 50 years ago. But unlike our Team Zen, there was no Madame X. In fact, their leader wasn't a madam at all. He was a male. If I remember correctly, his name was Lord Zenadin. Presumably, the name Team Zen comes from his name. And coincidentally, this Lord Zenadin was the 10th victim. Lord Zenadin. If Lord Zenadin was also the casualty, that means this isn't the same Team Zen. The Team Zen that we fought up to this point has been the second iteration. And that's not even the best part. As for the third and final thing that stuck out to me, that very same nuclear plant was owned by none other than the Blakeries. What? So you're telling me the Blakeries ran that nuclear plant? There was a second Team Zen, well, the first iteration of Team Zen. Madame X wasn't there, it was a man named Lord Zenadin. So my only guess here as to what happened is Lord Zenadin is related to Madame X. Avium was discovered 50 years. Hmm. Shot in the dark. I'm gonna I'm gonna shot in the dark. No one tell me if I'm right on this or not. I think Lord Zenadin could be Madame X's father. But I also think Lord Zenadin is Indriad. Because when you think about it, 50 years ago is when Kugirin City... No, wait. That doesn't make any sense. Because the way uh, the way Vitus talks is that he and his family were there for a long time. So that doesn't make any sense. And that was 50 years ago in the past. Never mind. The Blakeries owned that, uh, if the, the Blakeries owned it, that means it seems like they were involved in all of this, even back then, somehow. Everything is connected. The Blakeries and Team Zen, what is exactly their true relation? That's what we're here to figure out, but it does give, uh, what Katsu and, uh, set some context. She said she wanted to restore the Miero region so we can go back. That confirms what this book says is at least true in that, uh, in that aspect. I can say that the rest is too accurate. There's just not enough data. I see. In that case, we should start looking around. It seems you know a lot more about this place than Robin and I, so lead the way and we'll do our best. Understood. Melly, I'm going to need you to talk to the receptionist and find out what, uh, when Rune took this book out. Leave it to me. I'll do my best. As for you, Robin, 
I'm going to need you to find out where Room got some of these books. They were real exclusive looking books, so perhaps look for a pedestal or something. If I remember correctly, there were three last time I visited. But the library changes its layout often to showcase new exhibits, so it might not be there anymore. Fair. Over here. Who would possibly find it appropriate to bother me? Oh, of course it's you. But I must say, I'm impressed. I didn't really take you for the inte uh, intellectual type. Seeing you in here has made my opinion of you change. Not that there was much enough opinion anyway. Oh, this guy. Oh, Robin. Hey, fancy meeting you here. What's up? Why are you here? Say, have you seen Aaron around? She told me to come by. Ugh, seriously, what is the poor orphan boy doing here? Run along, orphan boy. That's uh, There's nothing for you at this institution. Uh, at an institution like this. Yeah, this guy's an asshole. What did you just say? You hurt me, peasant. Don't play dumb. By the way, where's that putrid rat that accompanied you? The one that defiled my face? You remember that, don't you? I won't forget that moment ever. By the looks of it, your face won't either. Are you implying that there is a mark? Because that's impossible. I hired elite makeup artists to cover that foul bruise she left. Any evidence of that incident happening is no longer visible. Whatever you say, dude. By the way, I heard Lavender was in the hospital. Serves her right. You know what they say about karma, right? uh, yes? Don't talk about Lavender that way. Take it back, now. I'll take nothing back. The truth hurts somehow, Huey. And if you can't handle the truth, then you don't deserve to be the same room as me. Say that in my fist, Thomas Blakery. Yeah, that's right. Hit him again. Nah, nah, move. Let me hit him. Let me hit him. Punch him in his throat. I'm getting tired of him. Every time he opens his fucking mouth, he's disrespectful. He gonna learn. I don't know. Your face is pretty punchable. You just make it too easy. You think this is funny? Fine. If that's how it is. Security. S security? Damn it. I didn't do a damn thing. Yet, though. I, I would have hit him. So am I getting arrested or something? No, but you're not allowed back in the rest uh, for the rest of the day. Cool off, calm down, and come back tomorrow. Fine. I don't really like books anyway. Well, that sucks. At least only I got in trouble, though. I feel really bad if you got in trouble, too. Robin, what the hell is going on? Hey, Aaron, don't get mad at Robin. This is my fault. I'm not angry. I'm annoyed. It's different. Anyway, I don't really have much for you to do other than what I told you to, uh, before. So just leave that to Melly and I. You and Huey go do whatever you want. But don't slack off too much. The tournament is going to begin soon. We'll all group up in front of this library once we're done with everything. Sure. We might as well hang out while we're, uh, we're both here. I'm going to ask you if you wanted to visit... I was going to ask you if you wanted to visit Lavender, but they aren't accepting visitors anymore. Well, come on. There's a park just south of here. <laughs> Aaron called me the library uh, to the library because she said she found things room owned. I ran over here and got in trouble as soon as I got here, but I can't stand that Thomas Blaker. He gets me so mad. Rue used to bring me uh, to this park all the time when I was younger. She's been gone for so long, and now there's no breakthroughs. I'm trying to stay happy and optimistic, but damn, it's hard. Rue, and I hope you're doing okay. Man, you slugged that guy. Robin, it's me, Rihanna, Ren's sister. Oh, right. that was her. I don't know why I forgot. Maybe because this character is kind of irrelevant. We haven't even seen each other for quite a while, yeah? I think it was since Valor Mountain. Thanks for saving me back then, by the way. If you didn't help me, I would have gone out anyway. But it's a thought that counts. Uh, hey there. I don't think we met. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Rihanna. You two mind if I join you? I've got nothing else to do, really. Uh, sure. We've got nothing to do either, so join the club. Yay. Hangout, uh, hangout time commenced. Blade Star Headquarters. Flora's meeting. Flora, ma'am? Yes, what is it? Robin and Aaron are currently in the Scholar District. Fortunately, it seems neither of them have leaked any information. Truly? I guess they're more loyal than I anticipated. But that doesn't mean anything. Loyalty is flimsy. At least it can be. Keep spying on them. We have to make sure everything is perfect for the event. Of course, ma'am. That reminds me. Where is he? Oh, please excuse me. I was lost in thought. Could you say that again? Where is the doctor? Uh, yes, him? He's waiting outside right now. Let him in. We have things we need to discuss. Of course, ma'am. What is she even looking at? Why is she looking at that bee like that? Is there anything on the wall? Like... I'm here, Flora. Finally. Dr. Jenkel, what took you so long? Sorry, I was just staring at a tree. You must forgive me. I mean, she's staring at a wall, so you can't be that crazy. 
Why the hell am I surrounded by brain dead idiots? Whatever. Dr. Junko, seems our pre uh, preparations are complete. We're going to continue with Project Supernova. R really? So soon? Is it really okay to do this so soon? This is our only opportunity to catch Cassandra and all the, uh, those other politicians in one fell swoop. I see. I will continue. Yes, yes. That's all for now. Continue to do whatever you like. But don't go too far off. I'm going to need you to be here when it happens. Understood. I'll see you later. And then Ren pissed the bed for nearly a week. Damn. He was quite literally a piss baby and all because of some stupid Murkrow. Can't really blame him. That movie was totally scary. Nuh uh. I told it totally wasn't. That stuff is easy to get through. If you just realize. Robin, there you are. Cannon? It's taken a while, but. Uh, it's taken a while, but here you are. Oh, hey, Cannon. What's up? Robin, I know it sounds really sudden, but I need you to come with me. S sorry, but we're kind of hanging out right now. You can join us if you wanna. Um, no. Robin, seriously though, I need you to follow me right now. Crystal said she'd like to speak with you. Um, this is kind of- Rihanna, shut the fuck up! You don't even know who this is! You don't even know what I'm going through! So shut up! <laughs> this is kind of rude of you, you know. But if this Crystal person really needs to speak to Robin right away, it must be important. Can we come? No. Sorry, Huey, but Crystal only requested Robin. Bummer. Robin, meet me at the National Park. What the f- Who the fuck is Rihanna, dude? <laughs> Nobody told her to do a damn thing. Okay. I heard after this chapter- Oh, I went the wrong way. I heard after this chapter, I can go back to, um, the mainland, which will be cool. There's, uh, some things I want to do. Crystal says she has something really important to tell you. She wouldn't even tell me what it was, so I guess it's not even—it's it's not relevant to me. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Do you see this clay doll here? Yep, I see it. What the fuck, bro? Go away! What are you two doing here? It wasn't my fault. It was Rihanna's idea. Yeah, it was my idea. I take full responsibility. I said that Crystal only requested Robin. I just wanted to see what you were up to. It really can't be that bad if we tag along, right? We want to go too, right, Huey? Well, I've, I've got nothing else to do. All right, all right, you two can come, but you're not allowed to talk Chris, uh, to Crystal unless she says it's okay. All right, so where are we going? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by you two. This clay doll here likes to roam the national park, mostly because few people come here. We can use clay doll here to teleport us into the, well, you'll see. What a weird way to travel. Why not just anything you're about to su uh, suggest is probably something that just doesn't happen. People from this place have no way to cross waters, so they have to make do with the Pokemon local to them. In this case, the local being Claydol. You sure this Claydol is the right way to go about this? It looks kind of... Uh, it got here... I got here just fine, didn't I? I mean, it put me in the Dream Drifter, but that's close enough. Alright, Claydol, use Terraport. Is this safe? Maybe if you sit your ass down, nobody asked you. I can swim, but at that point, i just like uh, let the waves take me. That's kind of dark. Just let it end. I won't let it happen that way. I'm only joking, kinda. Come on, let's see what this is all about. Come on, Clayton, I'll teleport me. I wanna go. Teleport. Don't, 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 don't. Please leave her ass here. Please wait. God, fuck, man. This is gonna be an episode where I gotta spend with these two. The literal C tier characters. Uh, uh, fine. Where are we? Okay. Are, are we in the desert? The desert? Oh no. Yeah, I believe Crystal called it the Zorlayan Desert or something. You regret sneaking up on me like that now? Uh, only moderately, but exploring a desert could be cool. I mean, I don't like the heat, but I'd rather melt into nothing instead of turning into ice. Well, good, because there's no ice anywhere near here. So where is this crystal person? We're on our way to put up to a place called Sahila Village. Played all got the location slightly off, so it'll be a bit of a walk. Unfortunately. Great, but I guess I asked for this, so sucks to suck. Alright, which direction do we go, Cannon? Lead the way. 
southwest, but there's no real rush, so I guess we can take detours if we want. Let's go, I guess. By the way, if you want to go back to Grand Dream City, just try talking to Claydol again. With that being said, onward. Oh my god. Okay. This is fine. So we're heading, well, uh, I guess, we're on the west side of the map. There we are. We headed west. Okay. Wall of rock. Rock climb. There's a shiny cat turn up there. My wife, and, uh, my wife and I were taking a nice, lovely stroll through the park. Suddenly, the Pokemon appeared, and now I'm all the way here. Darling, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Damn, bro. My sir, oh, that man is displaced. You know I'm doing these. And that's just my like, place. Like, I have like 15 of those. Probably not gonna get it because I can't find it. Oh well. Hmm. Really, I, wish out here. So cool. I wouldn't be out here at night. Those cacti aren't the real uh, are the real deal. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. But they, they act in the morning, so... What, is there anything different about them at night? What the hell? Oh, sand bear. Sand bear. Right. There's no way a 100% accuracy move misses twice. It's very rare to see people, uh, it's very rare to see anyone, let alone children in these parts. What is your business here in the Batlands? Surely you're not from here. I bet you're looking for treasure, aren't you? No, oh, you can't hide anything from a bon bona fide treasure hunter like me. Okay. I don't even know who you are, so. If you're out here, that means you're decent at battling, so... Right. I got played. Play it again. gonna make Altaria a special attacker because I, I have Mawile so I want to have a mega evolution that's a physical attacker and a mega evolution that's a special attacker for versatility so I have to do that plus Altaria learns better special moves than it does physical moves anyway he learns flamethrower and a fire blast what the what is this I tell it literally anything. Start 
nice. Doesn't look like a fairy type, so I probably won't end up using it. But hell, doesn't hurt to have it. Let's see. Void old chasm. Do not enter. Hey, what are you doing in here? This place is too dangerous. If you fall into the chasm, it's over for you. No search party will be sent. Okay. Ooh. This song actually shares the same basis with, uh... Grand Dream City. I think this is actually the original version of the song. And the Grand Dream City version is a Glitch City remix. If it's got a super crazy typing, I might actually use it. It might not be a fairy, but as long as I have at least three fairies on my team at all time, I'm still contract. Well, technically four because Altari is kind of a fairy. Right. White bird. Okay. I want to get a Xerneas. I feel like that's Robin's legendary. It's either Xerneas or uh, Zacian's probably never gonna be. That's, that's too good. Uh, uh, Xerneas or Magirna, probably not too often. Diancy would probably be pretty cool too. Any of those three: Xerneas, Diancy, then Zacian. Magirna. Not getting any of those anytime soon though. I can probably see us getting Diancy beforehand. Any of the others. items ever. Oh wait, I don't think I have this. Whatever, let's just move on. What the heck? What is this place? The poly... Pole, uh, polothal... Pi... I don't know how to say that word. Poil, polothal forest is far too dangerous to walk into alone. Besides, just being in there will probably be bad for your health. Oh god, bro, that sounds like a poison type haven. Uh, mm. Looks like you were mugged. Did I lose some more items or money? Dang. Why did I trigger this? I thought I was gonna move on. Only thing I really want at this point is a hard scale. Oh, 
I unlocked them. I heard there was a secret hidden, uh, there was a secret hidden somewhere in the desert. Have any idea where it is? Oh, I know. I just got here. You should be telling me. Easy. Easy again. Barely enough. I don't really know anything either. Perhaps it's not even true. Okay. What's down here? Abandoned village. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This looks like the house from the the bad ending. It's locked though. Dang. Also, what the? I could stand in that. Huh. Hmm. Note to self: When we do side quests, we better come back here for sure. I need to know what. That looks like that house. What happened in this region? I really need to know. What's this? You want to take on the Sahila Trial? Sorry, but Sahila Trial is for the people of Sahila Village. If you'd like to know more, try visiting our village first. It's west of you. Hey, Cannon, are you sure this is it? kept getting lost along the way. Yeah, I know that this is the place. I've been here a couple times. See the sign right here? It says Sahila Village. Alright, I believe you. You have your fingers crossed. Nuh uh, that's not true. Guys, can we just go already? Standing here is making my brain fry. You four. Damien, what are you doing here? You're Alexandra's friend, right? Do you know where she went? Uh, did you happen to? Yes, I found her. She told me how she's tired of running, yada yada. Hey, you there, in the middle. Haven't we met before? Yeah, it was at the hospital, right? Yeah, that's where we met him. Anyway, listen. I need help from the four of you. I'm sorry, but I really don't get to... Uh, I need to get to Alexandra. This is about Alexandra, so be quiet for a second. What's wrong with Alexandra? Alexandra says she was waiting for Cannon to return with Robin. I left for a little while to take care of something, but when I came back, she was gone. She was gone? But you don't think she tried to run again? I don't think so, no. Considering she told me she was done running, I don't think she tried to give us the slip, which means she must have gotten herself into trouble or something. Cannon, did she say anything to you before you left? Or she left? No, she didn't. She said she'd be waiting on the back in the, in the back for me in the back of Sahila. Well, if she's missing, that means we have to look for her. If she only just went missing, then there might be a time there might be time for us to find her. I like your attitude, kid. You're absolutely right. The desert is vast, though. It may take us a while to find her if we group up. Cannon, you stay in Sahila and look after it while, uh, while I'm gone. Got it? Understood. Kid with a good attitude. What's your name again? It's Huey. I want you to get searched uh, around the Sandstream Cave. That's just north of here, so you shouldn't get lost. Roger that. As for the little lady, there's a cave called Void of Chasm, northeast of here. It's not really a touristy place, and people who fall in usually don't come out, but you look like you'd be able to handle it well. Um, of course. I'll be able to handle it. Just leave it to me. That's for you, Robin. I think it'd be wise for you to chase after that girl. I lied when I said she'd be able to handle it. But she looked like she was a fuss, uh, she was full of sass and teenage angst. Something I'm not really in the mood to deal with, so... Just follow her and make sure she's fine, yeah? I'm going to the ruined city just east of here. Don't follow me unless you want to get mugged. He just walked through me. Two <laughs> jokes on you, Damien. I've already gotten mugged. 
go look at that dude real quick. Are we near? Okay, Torchera. You're not from around here, are you? I'm not in need of any assistance. City anyway and get more energy roots. Oops. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. That's precisely the reason I want to make Altaria a special effect. God, the physical attack and terror and coverage is just so bad. Plus, I don't need it anymore. It's not wrong. Well, if you need help, you should visit our village. Laugh at the fact that he still has a face. It's just off screen. Hey, I'm not sure how I got here. I'm telling uh, I'm gonna take off my confusion on you. Is the clay doll just dropping people here? Another good reason is uh Star can learn baton as a uh, as a member. It can remember it. So I wanna Quiver Dance with Contact onto Altaria. not holding the item, by the way. Just making sure. Also, have a flying type now, sort of. As much as a flying type is Cinderace can be considered, I guess. National Park. Alright, we made it back. Alright, where is it? Let's look at this thing. I know we're breaking the pacing of the episode, but I don't care. It's a ground type. Technician. These are some good IVs too. Now the question becomes, is this a physical attacking Pokemon? Or what? Let me look at some stat spreads. Oh, it becomes a ground fighting type.
Oh, here we go. HP, attack, defense, speed. Oh, so it's still a special attacker. That's interesting. is a Muna that's a dark fairy. I don't really need that though. I have Grimstar. try and do something with that oh right energy boots energy boots before I head back gotta do this you know what tough battles are gonna come up and I need to be able to heal Glad Damien know what's her name is full of nothing but uh, hot air. Rihanna. Very pushy woman. It's like, stay your ass, uh, stay your ass still. He told you no. Yeah.
Oh, here she is. Who's this creep now? Is that woman Alexandra? What did you do to her? Sorry, Robin, but I'm not really a trainer. Please take care of this guy. Wow. Imagine talking all that shit like you're capable, but then you're, you admit you're not even a trainer. Whoa. Wait, that's... That's Zevin. I did what I said I would do. Haven't heard that song in a while. That's all you've got? Seriously, maybe I shouldn't have been worried about this guy. Alexandra, are you doing okay? Where am I? My head is spinning. That guy won't be bothering you anymore. I sent him packing. I see. Thank you for protecting me, Ren. What did you say? Ren? I guess I can't really hide it anymore. Ren! Rihanna. I've been looking all over for you ever since you left. Why did you leave us? Why? We can talk about all this later. Right now we need to get Alexandra out of here. R right. Okay, we'll help you. Thank you again, Ren. If it weren't for you, I don't think I would've... I've been meaning to ask, but what happened down there? If that's not rude or anything... No, it's okay. I was waiting for Cannon and Robin to show up, but soon after that guy appeared and said that he had Cannon and Robin hostage in Voidal Chasm. That guy. I didn't want to involve my brother because he had already trusted me. He already you know, trusted me. What guy was it? So I went on my own and I was attacked by a man riding a floating skateboard. That sounds kind of fake. Rihanna, I'm sorry, but it does. I know it sounds strange, but. Uh, are you really okay, Alexandra? I'm fine. I'm just a little winded is all. I'm gonna go back to the village. Please come by where you can. Is it really okay to let her go by herself like that? She'll be okay. I don't think that guy will come back. What about you? Ryan, I've been looking everywhere for you. I left because I had to get out of Golden Leaf Town. Between everyone in the town and Narcissa, I was no longer interested in being a citizen. Why didn't you take me with you? I would have went. I know. But, um, Rihanna, there's something I need to tell you. It's probably better I tell you myself than letting Robin out. W what is it? I might have joined Team Zen at some point. That's funny, but really, what is it? Spot the, uh, spot the joke. <laughs> You're not joking, but why would you join some criminal creeps like Team Zen? I, I don't even know what to say to you. I wanted to believe in you, but this is just too upsetting. I know you're upset, but I have my reasons. You have to just trust me on this one. Uh, how can I trust you after you go and do something like this? I'm heading to Sahila Village. Alexandra wanted me to visit her. It sounded like she wanted to talk to you too, Robin. I'll meet you there. Hmm. Oh, I can't even get a ride back. Wait, that thing's shiny? Imagine not being able to tell. Hmm. Mineral ball. Fuck! It took me to the side. And then it mugged me twice. What the hell? Fuck. Yeah. Okay, we made it. You've come a long way to get to Sahila Village, I bet. When you get the chance, you should visit Sahila Inn. The village isn't very large, but so we only have two rooms. Uh, Eon is looking kind of floored. Should probably do that. This is knocking. But who is this? Before we moved to Taylor Village, we had to fight over our lives daily. It was actually illegal for any of us to have children due to the scarcity of food and drinkable water. That's depressing. Wow, people from the mainland. 
That's not something you see every day. Please forgive us if we stare. We don't see outsiders very really often. Well, that's, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> I gotta sleep on the damn couch. That's fair. That's smooth but fair. Due to public demand by citizens of our citizens, we now have a PC system. I'm impressed that this thing runs out here. Have you been to the ruined city? It's just east of here, but I wouldn't recommend going just to take my word for it. Are you what they call a Pokemon trainer? I want to be one of those when I grow up. Maybe. I suppose you're here to face Rylan or, and or Adam? Unfortunately, Adam isn't here and Rylan is busy with other things. Wow, you look different from everyone. Can I touch your hair? No? Welcome to Sahila Village, friends. We're trying to see that outsiders are finally starting to visit us. Uh, it's exciting to see, it's glad to see that outsiders are finally starting to visit us. Okay. Help center. But it ain't here yet. Well, guess what we're gonna be doing at some point. Our previous village chief, Zalos, died a few years ago. Ever since that day, his son Damien has taken charge of the village. Because of him and Flora, this place has been ten times better than what it used to be. We owe both of them our lives. Okay. This looks like a Pokemon Reborn ball. Are you interested in my services? Yes. What do you, what do you want to know information on? People. Alita, Tesla, Karen. Oh, okay. Alita, huh? 7,000. Looks like I got some sauce on info on that hot-headed girl. When Alita was young, she admired Kida and Sheridan very much. For Kida's birthday, Alita thought it would be nice to bake a cake for him. Alita asked the eldest for help, and she agreed. The eldest gave Alita a list of ingredients of Kida's cake, but unfortunately, Alita still couldn't read properly. The recipe called for eggs, milk, butter, and cinnamon. Alita was able to collect the eggs, milk, and butter successfully, but she had uh, like uh, because she had used those before. But it was different with cinnamon. She couldn't read it properly. She didn't want to disappoint everyone, so she gathered the ingredients as requested. She gathered all ingredients and mixed it into a batter. When it, the, when it baked, the elders claimed that the cake, uh, the cake had a weird smell. Alita's sweating bullets confessed that she did not know what cinnamon was. The eldest amused took out the cake and once it uh, was done and took a taste. Turns out Alita had put in eggs, milk, butter, and cilantro. She totally ruined that cake. The eldest couldn't help but laugh. Poor Alita couldn't help but cry her eyes out. That's all I got for now, but I hope it was worth the money. Boy, do I have a scoop for you, wielder, uh, wielder of the golden flame. Tesla's parents died when she was very young. She had no pictures of them and no memory of them, so it's like they never existed. But Tesla was interested in her heritage, so she decided to take a test and figure out her lineage. Turns out her father was a foreign man from a faraway region, but unfortunately, she couldn't find much oil when it came to her mother. The doctors had no records, but it was determined that she was a native. Tessa refused to give up, so she decided to find out the truth herself. She visited many places around Avian, but she couldn't find anything. During a harsh and brutal storm, Tessa was knocked off her talent flame and into the ocean. A few days later, she washed up against the shore and was nursed back to health by the people native to that area. When she woke up, she found people who looked similar to her. She thought it was a long shot, but she took another test, a test that the village had prepared for their, uh, their own kind. Turns out the village where she washed up was the very same place near her. Uh, uh, was, was the very same place her mother had been born. Tesla thanked her people there and left as happy as she could be. That's all. Huh? The name of the village she washed up in? The village she ended up in was this very same village, Sashila. It's true. Tesla is a Shahilan woman. Oh, so okay. Karen, this one's a hard one. I'll charge you a bit more than usual. All right, this one's a bit interesting. Karen is obsessed with ruined excavation and tomb raiding, but it turns out that she's doing that because she's trying to find out about her past. Turns out that she may have been from an ancient royal family, but they're long forgotten. One day she found the ruin of her, of her old family, but it was heavily guarded by Garuf and Magic. In order to open the way, she would have to use Garuf and Magic, uh, Magic, but she was inexperienced. She took on an advanced spell and failed miserably. If Garuf and Magic is not done successfully, it comes with harsh consequences. 
because she failed, she lost her mental stability. Her mind was warped. Her view, uh, her mind warped her view, and she hid herself for many years until her mind got the best of her. She became her own worst enemy. Okay. And nothing about places. The Zorlan Labyrinth is the cave just south of the village. It is said to be created by a king who used to rule over the land centuries ago. This king used ancient group and magic to create items that would empower and weaker Pokemon. These items are known as crests. If you ever decide to visit the labyrinth, I highly recommend searching for these artifacts. And tell you what, if you find all of them, I'll have something nice for you. Huh? Laura rescued us from the old ruined city and restored the land we live on. If it weren't for her, we'd be suffering still. Can I ask you for something? If not, I'd ask uh, something. If not, I'd ask you to leave. Oh, you could have asked me for something, but kind of just told me to leave anyway. There's an oasis somewhere in the Zelayan desert. My friend said she saw a woman disappear within the water found there. That's ridiculous. People don't just disappear. The chief is in the quarters at the moment. Please return later. Well, I okay. I'm gonna just go in anyway. Fuck you guys. I guess. And look, she's in here, so shut up. <laughs> Liars. Robin, my friend, thank you for coming. Robin, I would like to thank you for finding Alexandra, but I would also like to thank Ren for fending, uh, fending off her attacker. It's no problem. I just did what I had to. As for you, Alexandra, please tell me your thought process here, because I'm going to be brutally honest here. You're looking like a giant idiot here. You're just going to believe anything anyone ever tells you? I'm sorry, I'm a human being who wants to help people who need it. What a saint. You could have just sent me after them. After all, it's my job to complete tasks like that. Whatever, that's in the past. I don't want to dwell on it anymore. That's what I've called you here for. Oh, are we interrupting something? Um, Damien, who's the boy in the fiery hair? Another friend of Robin? Rihanna, uh, you should really should just stand outside for this one. Nah, uh I'm not going anywhere, Rand. Not until you give me a proper explanation. Just stand the fuck outside. God, this character. Wait, Ren, as in your brother? The one you're looking for? Yeah. Sorry, Alexandra. I told them only Robin was requested, but they tailed us. No, it's okay. More friends. They're more than welcome here. I mean, Huey's fine. He knows how to shut up and listen. Rihanna's annoying because she just butts in on conversations where she has no context or any understanding. Listen, I had an entire speech prepared. I even invited an old friend, but looks like he didn't show eventually, unfortunately. There's something I need to ask of Robin and Ren. Something I can only trust these two with. Yikes. I'm feeling a little left out here. That's because you're not supposed to be here. You and Huey aren't even supposed to be here, so shush. For real. You got us there, Rihanna. <laughs> like I was saying before, there's a task I only trust Robin and Ren with. Robin, do you know what Zone Zero is? I do not. It's the ruins of a city that used to be the pinnacle of Avium's development. But during the tragedy, it was completely wiped out. Well, beyond Zone Zero is Ecclesia Pyramid. It used to sleep beneath the ground, but was mysteriously unearthed recently. Within Ecclesia period, uh, Pyramid, the Spring of Rejuvenation lies. I need to get to that spring as fast as possible, which is where you come in. Do you need us to escort you there or something? I don't need an escort. No, uh, no. However, I require you all take care of something. I tried to get there on my own a while ago, but I was met with a massive sandstorm. It is not unusual for this area to have sandstorms, but this was a very different phenomenon. I was strong; It was stronger, denser, more violent, and seemingly never-ending. That's when I saw it, the thing creating the entire thing. It was a being of the rifts. A dimensional rift in the desert? I don't remember Nastasia telling me about a rift being in the desert. That's because Team Zen does not control this rift. It is under the control of Bladestar. It seems like Blaze Star has technology to create rifts too. Yeah, I mean, I knew that because the Pharaoh Thorn isn't it. I believe this to be the reason why my friend that I mentioned earlier did not show. Rylan, my friend is an admin of Blaze Star. And let me guess, you want Robin and I to destroy the gym, uh, destroy the rift so that the storm will subside? Wait, if Rylan is an admin of Blaze Star, that means two gym leaders are a part of uh, Blaze Star? That's interesting. Yes, you two have the experience needed to accomplish this mission. I don't need. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I've seen you way- uh, I've seen the way you battle, Alexandra. Your strength is terrifying. I don't understand why you need our help. Please forgive this selfish statement, but if anything were to happen to me, I cannot afford to die now. 
If only you followed that sentiment earlier today. I understand. There's just no way you said that. Am I hearing wrong? You're just fine with killing off my brother and Robin just to save yourself? First off, you're not even facing her too. Shut up! Give me one reason I shouldn't walk over there and slap the shit. Okay, hold on. That was kind of funny. Rihanna, you're not involved. Stop it. Are you really going to just let her... I am. I already decided. Ren. Honestly, Alexandra, just let me take care of the damn Ren. Why go out of your way to involve these children? Children that have nothing to do with any of this. I've learned that Robin has been a part of taking down numerous groups and Zen members, even going so far as to gain the title of the Team Zen Destroyer. And Ren is a part of Team Zen himself. I gotta see how they are not involved. And they will continue to be involved even if I don't send them. She's got a point. I was gonna do it anyway. Whether or not Ren does is up to you. I mean him. I just don't know what to say to you anymore. <sighs> don't worry, Alexandra. I'll take care of the mission. I don't know about Robin, but... I will head for Alamister Urban in Zone Zero first thing tomorrow. Thank you so much, Ren. I really appreciate it. I don't expect you to understand or trust me, but I'm begging you. Please accompany Robin to, uh, and Ren, uh, she's talking to me. Please accompany Ren to Zone Zero. If it's a reward you're worried about, then don't. I already have one prepared for you, though. Damien told me about the conversation he had with you at the hospital, so I will also tell you more about it. I believe she calls herself Nim now. That being said, you are welcome to stay in the village tonight. I've arranged a room for you all down at the inn. It isn't much, but it's all we have. Please consider what I've asked of you. It's for the good of everyone. Okay. Can't believe that Skank told Ren he could should die instead of her. That's not really what she said. I mean, it's implied, I guess. She doesn't want Ren or Robin to die. She just can't risk doing it herself. Whatever. I understand her frustration. It's just like, shut the fuck up, though. That's the only thing with Ren. She's talking when she shouldn't be. One second, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, Rihanna, have you seen the books in this place? <laughs> they got so many wacky things, too. They're all handwritten. Guess there's not much to do out here, so everyone just writes down their own thoughts. Oh hey, take a good look at this one. How to cook alive. Ugh. Hey Robert, take a look at this one. Sorry Huey, I don't really feel like socializing right now. Hey, what's wrong? Come on, you can tell me. I'm sorry, I just, I'm thinking about the things that really, uh, that really, I'm thinking about things that are really upsetting me. It's about Ren? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Well, you gotta tell us something before we can make that decision. Yeah. I guess I'll tell you. Before my mom had Ren and I, she went to an oracle in Grand Dream City. She was young and dumb, just wanted to have fun. You know, get your readings out, get, get your readings and see how many kids you'd have and whatever. The oracle says something really peculiar. She says something about the future of her children. Be wary of your children, uh, be, weir be wary for your children shall clash. One will fight for a bright future and one will seek to destroy it. Of course, my mom laughed it off and went home. My mom thought she was talking out of her ass when she said children, because she was only expecting one child. But it turned out that she was having twins, Ren and I. You and Ren are twins? I mean, I guess I can see it now that you mention it. He's two hours older, but yeah, pretty much. I believe in our in the super. I believe in the supernatural. I like believing in tarot cards, fairy tales, and legends like that. As for someone like me to hear that, I was worried to say the least. For a long time, I thought I had Ren under control. Everything seemed fine until one day, he just got up and left. He left without telling me or my mom or anyone. That's when you went off to look for him then. Yeah, now I found him, but I'm too late. We joined Team Zen. I wasn't there to keep him on the path. It's all my fault. My brother, what happened to you? That's a way to look at it, I guess. Psst, hey, over here. I, uh, over here, by the side of the hospital. What? It was a... Is that Mosley? Doctor, things seem to be going well with Lavender. 
Her levels are unstable, and it seems there is even an increase in compatibility as of late. By 3% of a, as a matter of fact. Good, good. In that case, I'll leave her to her rest. We'll need her to be as strong as she possibly can for her big day. Of course, Doctor. Forgive me, but I don't think I will stick around for that day, Aisha. This is abuse. I'm not sick, and therefore, I don't need to be here. I need to escape here quickly. I don't have my Pokemon to help me, but I can't rely on them for everything. All right. I can get the, uh, if I can get to the elevator, I should be able to get out of here. Okay. This is... Huh. Cool. Doctor, I thought I heard something. Doctor, everything is ready for the examination now. Ah, uh, right. Very well then. Time is of the essence. Way, way, way too close for comfort. Isha never hangs around this floor at night. Why is tonight different? Please get here quickly. Why aren't you working? The elevator isn't moving at all. Isha must have turned it off. Why would he shut the elevator in a hospital off? He really must not want anyone to find me down here. Forget it. I can't give up now. Tonight's my only chance. All those years pulling books off the tight shelves better come in handy here. Come on. Come on. Open up. Eureka, I've done it. Well, then if I can't take the elevator, I'll just have to climb out. I'm on the B3, which means I'm three levels below the ground. Four. What's that down there? Is that a hatch? Something that, uh, something like that can't be good if it's a hospital of all places. If I want to get out of here, now is the perfect opportunity. But if I get out of here, people will think I've lost it. If I can get proof of his corruption, I'll not only be, uh, I'll, I'm not, I'll not only help myself, but everyone who Isha hurt. I'm taking, I'm taking the risk. I've decided that Huey, uh, I've, I've decided that Huey, please don't be mad. Okay. This panel's asking for a password. Obviously, I don't know any code that would work here. There's no doubt that the code would be somewhere in Isha's office. This is stupid. This is so, so stupid, but I guess I'm stupid today. If I remember correctly, Isha's office is on the first floor of the first building. So I'll need to get to the ground floor and then to find his office. Hmm. Not the floor. Hmm. I can hear people talking just outside this door. Listen in. It's been a while. Oh, it's been quite some time. Never did. Madalus. Aye. Ever since that show you and Madame X had at the lounge. How have you been holding up? Still serving beer in all that bar in that bar? I've been doing what I can. Madame X still isn't too fond of my failure. But if she's keeping me around, then she must have something in mind. I see. Anyway, why did you call me? Why did we meet up here? I think you know why, Nevid. A long time ago, Gira, Zeta, and I all told each other what we fought for. Everyone was willing to share except for you and Nastasia. What does this have to do with anything? There's a girl in here in intensive care with an unknown disease. She has heterochromia, just like you. You do realize I'm not the only person in the world with heterochromia, right? Right, but she told me her father also had heterochromia. And she also told me that her father was also a well-known sailor in the Neverwinter area. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? She's your daughter, isn't she? Francesca. Looks like they're moving. Uh, looks like they've moved somewhere else. Strange conversation indeed. Okay. There's no need to go in here. I'll get caught. Huh, she actually can't interact with it. Here now? This is Isha's computer. I'm expecting it for a, I'm expecting it to ask for a password. No password needed? It's really weird. 
Well, whatever. There's a few things I can look at here. Patient files. Archive. Risa Raider. Mosley Carmichael. Lavender Bloom. Veronica Vasley. Talon R. Titty. Uh, I don't know his last name, man. Question mark. Let's see. Patient profiles. Risa Raider. Risa Elizabeth Raider, age 18. June, her date of, uh, date of, that's date of death, right? D-O-D. -D. Doesn't look like D-O-B. Date of death. But that doesn't, I don't really know what that stands for. June 13th, 20XX. Status. Terminally ill. Cured. City. Gear and city. Risa Raider's profile is amongst the others here. Risa was, wait. Risa's status is terminally ill or rather was? There's no way this public information. If something like this goes out to uh, got out to the public, it would cause an unstoppable storm. An unstoppable storm of support for Risa, uh, Risa, of course, but a storm is a storm. I find it weird that she was marked as terminally ill and then suddenly cured. When one is terminally ill, that means that's it for them. Did Risa Raider experience some sort of miracle? It has to be it, but what would the miracle be? Mosley Carmichael. Mosley Marco, uh, Carmichael, age eight, last seen. March 7th, 27th, I'm guessing. Status, missing. City, District of Hope. This person is named Mosley Carmichael. Seems they were born in the District of Hope. She's the one of the many kids that are missing right now, huh? Gosh, she was so young too, only eight years old. Hopefully she turns up soon. Isn't she like outside? That's crazy. Lavender Bloom. This is my own profile. Age 16, April 20th, status hospitalized, city Oblitus Town. Pains me to even look at this file. I don't belong here, but Isha won't let me leave. I bet he told Huey that I was coming down with a fever when he tried to visit me earlier. Isha, you make me sick. Veronica Vasley, age 17, August 1st. Yes, sir. Hospitalized, Garen City. Venom's birthday is two days before mine. Uh, well, I guess two days before Robin's. Venom, you took the bullet for me back then. You were being aggressive when you found me by the fountain in the central building. I didn't really appreciate it at the time, but now I realize that you were just trying to help me. I took a risk. I shouldn't have, and now I've been turned into stone. Oh, you've been turned to stone. I guess me reading this right now proves that I haven't learned a thing. But if there's one thing I'll value over everything, it's the truth. And I won't stop until it's, uh, it's out there for the entire world to see. I mean, or you die. Or how many people you're going to get killed in your pursuit of the truth. Like, I'm sorry, Lavender. Uh, you're kind of... You're kind of conceited, I guess. Talon Art... Art I don't know. Artides? However you say his last name. He's if. He's not 45 years old. Doesn't he go to Axis High University? January 10th, 19XX, hospitalized Akua Town. This file is completely wrong. What happened here? Talon is definitely not 45, and he's definitely not from Akua Town. And I'm not sure about the birthday part, but I'm pretty sure he was born on July 24th. Either way, it's pretty careless for a hospital to get something so wrong. What's the last one say? That's odd. This file has no name or date per, uh, date of birth. Usually when this happens, it means the patient can't remember where or who they are. Oddly enough, the, pi uh, the place of birth is actually still here, vaguely. There's not much else to look at here, I guess. I need to actually look at it. I didn't actually look at it. Okay, so let's see. He has no name, or they have no name. They're approximately 50... Nine or 53? It's hard to really tell in this font. They've been released, and their their hometown is the Kanto Islands. Who would that be? Deegan? Maybe? No, but he died. There's no way. And Kita is the only other person we know unless, God forbid, Kita's uncle. I mean, Kita's freaking grandpa comes back, like, as a character. Dr. A... 
Isai. I, hmm. Isia Halbert. Isia Halbert, a profound brain surgeon and doctor who lived in the avian region pre calamity. Isia was famous for his incredible 99% success rate with his procedures. Though he was great, unfortunately, his legacy ended in tragedy. Undeniable proof of medical abuse and malpractice against his only son was found. He was thrown in jail for his action, but escaped his confinement not long after. He then took his son and went missing. Weeks later, he was found dead at the home with his son nowhere to be found. He died shortly before his... Looks like 40th birthday? What's all this now? Dr. Isia Halber? This is crazy. Why this is on Isia, uh, Isha's computer? This stuff doesn't seem relevant, so I'm not going to pay attention to it too much. Hmm. It seems quite relevant to me, but... This file just has a bunch of numbers with an H in the middle. Eight, four, three. Something's weird with the H in the middle, though. I wonder if this has anything to do with the passcode needed to open the bunker. Would it be the darkened areas? Eight, four, three, three. Try that. Image must have been something to do with the passcode. I should look at this file carefully. I'm almost certain the numbers are displayed from the top left to the right. So if the code is present, it would be in that format. Is there anything I can interact here with? There's a black bar over that bookcase, by the way. I don't know why that's there. But the rest of the wall, it's not there, so it's weird. There's still people in the lobby. I'll be caught if I go this way. Not if you just fucking sprint out the door, chief. Go. I can't believe that actually worked. Huey, I did it. Right. Huey's not here. Down we go, I guess. Okay, this doesn't look like a hospital anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. Huh? That noise. It sounds like someone's crying. Mm. This window's a tad bit foggy, but I can kind of see what's going on. Wait a minute. It can't be. How disappointing. This isn't giving us good results. Just how exactly are we supposed to extract the memory from this one if they refuse to cooperate? Because it doesn't want to happen, obviously. Much to our dismay, sure, because it'll succumb to us eventually. We need to be patient or else Isha will become extremely irritated with us. And you don't know, and you know how he gets when things don't go his way. Oh, that breaks him, what the hell? Oh, seriously now? Come on, get up. It wasn't that bad. All we did was try to break your mind, nothing more than that. Talking to uh, talking to it like that will only anger it. I already have a burn mark on my forearm like that uh, from last time. Cool it and set the machine for another round. Not long until this thing decides to give up. Breaks it. This is it. This is just so awful. Uh, this is this is just so awful. How could they do this? I I have to help that breaks in somehow. Maybe there's something around here that's. Uh, that'll disable that machine. Come on, Lavender. You came this far. Uh, let's not get to. Uh, let's not get scared now. I mean, fair enough. God, this feels like the fucking gauntlet. I mean, glasswork factory and reborn, and I'm giving me goddamn nightmares. War flashbacks. The door's not budging. Better not cause too much of a racket. This panel seems to control whatever that machine is in the next room. Sorry, but I'm turning you off for now. Memory detacher system online. Uh, offline. Memory detacher system? What the hell? 
I don't believe it. It's one of the things. Why don't you guys just use a beam? Why why are y'all using a machine to do what a behem can do? And you can catch that literally anywhere in the wild. I don't believe it. It's one thing after another with this place. And to think that this is where one uh this is our this is where our hard-earned tax dollars are spent on. Let's go check on the monitor. Now to help out that breaks in and break out of here. Hey, are you okay? Please get up. I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? So please follow me. Hold on. Didn't Melly and Venom tell me about knowing a breaks in? When? That scene never happened on screen, so unless they had that conversation off screen, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I remember now. She mysteriously disappeared along with their other friends. In fact, I don't even think Lavender and Melly have ever had a conversation on screen. Surely they can't be the same age, right? It's a little odd, but I, th I think I should try asking. By the way, this might sound kind of weird, but do you by chance know the name Venom? Ah, so you do know them. I'm a friend of theirs. I can take you to them where we when we escape, so just follow me. Well, I guess they did have a conversation on the computer, but that's like all I remember. This is just great. We're not getting out this way. There's got to be another way to the elevator. Hey, wait, don't just run off or we'll get caught. Hmm. Special Agent Lavender. We should bring it. Uh, we should be good in here for the time being. But they, uh, they aren't moving. Come on, I'm trying to get out of here. What is it, Brighton? Oh, shit, they got the Garatina. This, this Pokemon is, isn't it the legendary Pokemon Garatina? I feel like you're trying to say something, but I can't understand you. What the heck? I got it. Oh, the Grishius Orb is also gone. I noticed that. It's a different form. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. Here, are you okay? Come on, get up. There's no time to sleep. In any case, I was thinking maybe we should try to free this Pokemon. If you should keep, uh, if you should is keeping this thing down here, it can't be good. You seem against this idea, and I realize why that would be. But just the thought of keeping this thing down here makes me sick. If he should start to rampage with this in his arsenal, I think this is the right move. Let's see here. Please be quiet. We're all here to escape this miserable place. Nah, they heard that. So, please cooperate with us and we'll be out of here in a jiffy. I'll take that as a sign of compliance. I'm sorry, I meant mutual, co mutual cooperation between two equal groups. I have no idea how I'm going to get a Pokemon this huge out, but we'll make it work. It's a ghost type, though. Don't think we didn't hear you walking around in here. Crap, we took too long in here. That's right, little lady. You shouldn't be... Oh no, she released the Garatina Ishikot? This is bad. We can't fight a legendary Pokemon like Giratina. Legendary Pokemon? Giratina? You want to fight Pokemon? Looks like Giratina wants to as well. Well, what do you say? Still want to stand in our way? We're going to fight you no matter what. Legendary Pokemon or not, you're still outnumbered. Interesting song you chose for Wow, wow, Breaks, you were just weak as fuck. Wait. I used. Oh my fucking god, I hold it over.
Thank you, Mark. I'm sure you'll appreciate it quite well. How does it feel then? We're unstoppable. So this is the power of a legendary Pokemon. Now move aside before... Oh shit. Wait, what? Don't leave us! Hey fellas, about before. Yeah. They made it this far. Dang, she got floored. What to do, what to do? What's gonna happen to you now, Lavender? I told you not to make any attempt to escape. You're very sick, you see. As now, uh, and now you've released this future Brakeson from their confinement. I didn't expect you to be such a tactless patient, Lavender. Don't worry, though. I'll fix any lo uh, loose ends. Brakeson, leave me. I'll be fine. I can't go any further. Just go. The exit is right, there, uh, right here, if that's what you want. Whether or not you escape is not my concern. You no longer have the device that allows you to effectively communicate with humans. An impressive device constructed by none other than Saki Blakery. Breaks him. Go. Now what shall we do with you? Damn. That's crazy. Alright guys, I'm uh, gonna end the episode here. Because what better place to end the episode than after like that nonsense? Like, right, uh, Garatina just straight up dipped on us. Um, poor Lavender. Anyways, though, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're back in the main game, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.